The tide turns. The mighty shark stucks his prey. Now we strike to the briny deep. I'll show them a watery grave. Come on, let's go. What is up, guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to play Fizz. So he recently got several buffs that propelled him straight into the S tier. So currently he is one of the best mid laners that you can play right now. He was always a great solo queue champion, but now he's even better, especially in solo queue. E start is great guys, level 1, because it allows you to get CS without getting poked down too much by abilities. So on this champion, you play passive until around level 3, when you have all your basic abilities up, that's when you start looking for traits. You just have to let them push in, that's a ward right there. And it's fine giving up some of the early minions, that's just how it goes into ranged matchups. This matchup will become way more easy as we get more levels. We're just gonna let him push and then we just farm under the tower. Remember your E makes you untargetable and it can also be used to dash over walls with. But it has to be thin walls, otherwise it's not going to work. W, so now it gives you 100% mana refund, it did not do that before the buffs. That's a great change. Right, looks like a free kill. I'm gonna flash with him. Nice, he did not flash. I think he knew he was dead anyways, but great gank by the Wukong. So your W gives you full mana refund, which is huge, cause it does promote, you know, farming and not getting punished for it. And also, your W is an auto attack reset. So when you get level 3, that's a really important combo you have to know about, but we'll talk about that when we are getting back into lane after resetting. Just use the double to last it with, that makes it really easy and then we can just peace out. We get a Dark Seal early on, Fizz is an AP assassin. So you are playing to snowball, you know, by getting kills. So of course Dark Seal, if you get kills, you will get rewarded for it, more AP, meaning that you will snowball harder. Now that we have level 3, this is going to unlock the basic trading combo. So what you do here is that you Q in towards the target, then one quick auto attack, then you immediately reset it with a W, that procs electrocute, and then you can E out to safety. Or you can use the E to trade, um, again, depending on how the trade looks. Like if you're going to win it, the E uh, extended trade, then of course go for it. Okay, that's Udi right there, you see him. That's how you trade. And then you can just E out. I don't think I had to flash. We okay, we fine. But the ghost out, so I think that helps the Wukong. Looks like he's going for the Skullcrab, so Q in. And like this, and then out. He's gonna flash away, right? That's fine, that's fine. You in, auto attack, W, and then E out. Oh, e out, yeah. You can do this under the tower really easily without the tower ever being able to. damage you. And we could go for this because we saw the Wukong was waiting. So that's another free kill for our side. Just pushing this out, and then we can reset. First item going to be the Tempest, Ludens Tempest, but if you're playing against a very tanky team, then Lion Race is also fine. Okay, we can't do anything about that. We're gonna get the tier 2 boots now, really important on Fizz, unlocks your mobility, but also lower cooldowns. Ability haste is very, very important on this champion, because that it uh, it's what makes you mobile. Your E is going to be on a very low cooldown, your Q, your W, and your ultimate, and then also your summoner spells. The cooldown will unlock your true potential. I think or hope he's fine. Let's place a ward up here. 
Like this. This is how you trade, guys. You in, and then you do the fast auto attack into the W, and then just peace out. You can do this under the tower 100% of the time, and they can't do anything about it. I think he got this right. I think he has a barrier. Oh no, the cannon. And the ultimate is ready to go, so if you're not able to find kills previously, now you should. Hey, here's another OP combo. So you have to queue through the minions, and then press your ultimate like this. This is, it is his most OP combo this has, because you hide the animation of your ultimate, making it way harder to see for the opponent. Doing it like this will allow you to get a lot more hits on that ultimate. Even onto mobile champs. When you want to push, then just E and then do not double click that E. Because if you do that, it's going to come down faster, but you do not get that massive hitbox and also it does not slow. So the only time you double click that E is of course if you want to like use it for mobility or if you have enough damage and you just want to get the kill fast. Otherwise, always use that extended E where you just hold it like this and don't press it again. That way the AoE field is a lot bigger. Put your spot side. They are fine, I assume he'll be going for the dragon soon since Wukong is top side. Which is okay, and we have the ultimate up soon, you can see it is already on a low cooldown and it will be even lower soon. Really easy to farm just for your W alone, so that makes last hitting under the tower really easy. I'm ready. Once again, that same combo, Q through the minions and throw out your ultimate at the same time. It is almost impossible to see guys, like you have to predict it, you cannot see it coming through, especially if you use it in close range, it's impossible to react to. So they would have to know in advance that you're going to use it in order to dodge. That's how fast it will come out if you use it properly. We have the Herald, it's fine he got the Drake, doesn't really matter, it's only the first one. Herald is going to allow us to get the plates, so the first Herald is really OP. I'm gonna give some vision to my bot side. Since they're winning lane, that makes sense to play around them. You don't know how many are coming. But we can get out. I'll flash out. Let's wait a little bit. Oh, a massive all is coming in. I can't see anything. Take that one. I have the ultimate up now, just waiting for my E. Good dear. Yes. Hopefully she does not oh she does have the flash up. It's fine. This is how I went out of vision here, so the Morgana could not body block the ult. I could uh, get an easy hit on the Udir. Otherwise I would have killed the Morgana, but you know Udia has to rip off. He's a lot more valuable than a support. Since it's going to stop him from being able to farm and get objectives and stuff. Sitting on a ton of gold, so we'll just back off. If you're going to upgrade the Med uh, Dark Seal to the Mage Ice, always do it at least after the first item. And with the first item, I mean the first AP item, so not after your boots, but after you have the mythic item. Never do it before that. It's way too risky, because if you die just once, you'll be losing out on so much gold, for no reason. But the combo I talked about, the Q in, auto attack, W and then E out, it works under the tower 100% of the time if you do it properly. So that means that the tower cannot auto you. So that makes him one of the best tower divers in the entire game.
Oh no, I'm dead. My bad. I trolled a bit. I was a bit too greedy, but you can see if I had the Midas right now, I would have lost so many stacks and so much gold would have been lost. No ultimate on the Velkos. But when you have maximum points into your E and of course you're not far behind, then one E is going to one shot the backline minions here. So that's where your wave clear starts becoming good. Which is the case for most, you know, AP champs, mages and stuff. This one. You want to get the sweeper, so this one, after the landing phase because you will be invading and ganking a lot. So you want to make sure that you're not standing on vision. And also your Q makes you dash a fixed distance, so similar to Yasuo C. So you know, staying closer to the target means that you're going to dash further. And if you don't kill something with your W, it just um, makes your auto attacks deal damage over time. And it will not reset. Keep that in mind. Just one E, one shot the backline minions. I can look for dive again, but I don't see people on their side. Like this, you can see the tower cannot do anything about it. Oh no, getting ulted. I trolled again. It's okay. We are picking up the kills and they're los losing a lot just for, you know, st staying mid. So AD Carry is getting ahead and they are using ults and exhaust. Good engaged by the Wukong. Oh no, jungler died. It's fine. The next item on Fizz. Always, always. Okay, that's a bit too ham. Oh no, what's going on guys? He lost the tower, that's... Not very good. But you know, if you play really aggressive, this will happen. A lot of people will come and try to defend. Sometimes you will get rewarded big time for it. Sometimes you will get punished. You have to stop him. My ultimate is up soon. Might already have taken it. Okay, nope, he's not doing it. That's great. Oh, he dodged it, what? through the minions to gap close. Had to flash out. I don't get new. Nice. I also got ignited. That's fine. If we can defend the uh, Drake somehow, I'll look for a quick reset. No mind. He's trading Herald for Drake, okay. I get one more AP component. Yeah, that's a bit too late, guys. But it's okay. If we can get the tower, that's fine. Then we can secure the other objectives. He's doing what he can, but obviously, support. Can't do much about that. The very fed with here can be a bit annoying to deal with once he gets too tanky. So that's the type of champs that you don't want to play Fizz against. He's an assassin, so obviously you want to have squishy targets that you can actually manage. Finally, the tower goes down, so this is where we can start split pushing. I'm gonna go bot here and we're gonna look for a dive on the Kaiser. Or I can wait here for the Morgana to come. come on, let's go. Where is she, sir? Okay, she's still here. I might not have to use the ult. Okay, that's pretty free. So you don't always have to commit your ultimate. It's mostly if you know you think they can somehow escape. Then you can use it, but in this case, 
Even if she altered and flashed away, I would still be able to catch her. Bro. Bro, what is happening? Yeah, I want to go to the side lane, but I need this wave here. Since I got denied some CS. I'm just gonna take this and then we'll swap. And then we just go to the side lane. So if a mage is forced to meet against you in the side lane, that's why it starts becoming really hard for them. But also be careful that you don't split push too much when you don't have TP. Because then if your teammates get caught, you will not be able to be there. Oh my days. I see here. Trey one fun. But this is why you need Sonya's on Fizz. Without Sonya's you cannot go for these plays. And Udyr is not something you can deal with, he's way too tanky so you just have to escape when he comes. You have to go for the carries, that's our goal. So Vilkos, Kai'Sa, Morgana. Only Morgana if the other two are not an option, so maybe they're not in the fight or they're dead or something, then we can go for Morgana. In this case, Volibear is also fine right now because he's really squishy. But when they start building Bruce items, tank items and so on, you don't go for them. You try to find a flank into the backline and then you wait for the AD carry, mage or whatever they had to overextend and that's when you go ham. I don't know what this guy is doing. Why is he bot? What he's doing right now is pretty troll because he's denying me XP. He should not be here. This is pretty low elo macro, but fine. Alright, let's take that one. Can we get the Kaisa too? Nice. Now we had to get out. Alright, that's fine. Vilkos here as well. I don't have Sonya's yet, but I can buy it. Oops, I did not want to click E right there. But you see the cooldown is pretty low right now. But the Sonya's is another item that will really buy you a lot of time. So you can go for like a 1 versus 3 and then pop the Sonya's and then your E is going to be ready again. So it's actually also very possible to just buy Sonya's as your first item after the boots. That is something you used to do and is still fine to go for. There we go, Sonya's is up, so we got the core components. Next item is going to be the Lich Bane. Of course, great synergy with your Kato Wall, your W, your Q. And of course, you are a burst champion. Lich Bane is something that enables burst type champs. Just have to like flank going from the back line. We have to wait a little bit. Wukong and Malphite is coming, so just have to chill. Oh, a bit further away. That we can keep going because I have the Sonyas. I don't mind. I'll take that one. We can just keep going. Okay, that's fine. We got the Drake. Or we are getting the Drake. But you have to come in from the backside, okay? That's that's the only way most of the time you'll be able to reach the AD carry. If you do it any other way, you just get destroyed. Does he have ult up? Yeah, he does have it up. Coming over. Might be here still. Just gonna kite him a bit so I don't have to burn my uh, Sonya's. 
Nice. That way I can keep my cooldowns. But we have we do have Ingenious Hunter, which is going to help a lot with the Sonya CD. And also the Ludens Tempest passive. I think a lot of people don't know that. Right, and then back to farming. Look how so extended a bit. And he's toast. This is all you do, you just constantly rotate around the map here. So I have a lot of gold, so I'm gonna back off once again. I think they win this without me. Or I hope they do. Let's get the AP. I don't like getting the Sheen by itself. I prefer to have the full component. Or like the AP components. So the only time I like to have Sheen is when I play Gangplank, because then it's OP, because you just spam your Q, right? But on other champs, like AP champs, I prefer to get the damaging components first, because it helps with the way clear and the burst, and then I get the Sheen at the end, or I just upgrade the item fully. We have Malphi, so there's no way they're winning that. I can come in from the side, but that's a ward. That's why you have the sweeper. So I can actually flank. And we can take the blue buff, hopefully. Since they don't have any vision. Oh, well, they do have vision now. Right, I'm out. Bit more gold, and we will have access to the Lich Bane. And that's like the big spike on this champ. When you have these three items, that's why you start going really crazy. Don't have to use Anyas for this. This has insane outplay potential. All you need is enough ability haste to pull it off. So right now, you can see ability cooldowns 43%. We just get the Lich Bane and then we get Death Cap and the White Staff. The order depends on if they're building MR or not. Right now, I don't see anything... Any MR. It doesn't matter if the tank is building it because they will not be your focus. Your focus are the carries, so the mages and the AD carries and whatever else they have. And as long as they don't build MR, you don't have to build void stuff. You can let your AD carry or the other players on your team deal with the tankier targets. I'll just keep pushing it out a bit here. Remember to farm in the silence as well, because one thing I see a lot with people play Fizz is the fact that they fall behind CS all the time and that's because they completely forget about farming and just go for the kills only. When you do that the opponents will have a way back into the game if you don't farm. I think we can go for the Kai's again. There might be a ward here. There is. Right. Looks like I have to go bot side since they go want to go for the Baron it seems like. And take the fruit so I can be a little bit healthy. You can just D back. I'm gonna come in from the behind here. My ultimate is up in 23 seconds. Flank, flank, flank. And that is his other combo, the E Flash. He has to get him. Nice. Has to protect the AD carry from getting destroyed. He has to take this one out. I can wait here on the sides, wait for the Kaiser. Oh, she's bot. Like it's pretty secured. 
They need help. I can't do it anyways, because I just get poked down too much. This is not a champion that's very good at dealing with the Baron. So just let your teammates deal with that, and then you just go and farm. Ultimate ready soon once again. You see the cooldown, 41 seconds. That's why you don't have to go ultimate Hunter and Fizz. I can wait for the Morgana here. Never mind. She's too smart. Is the Kaiser still here though? There she is. Morgana's shield should not be enough. Oh. Be fine. Unless he has ghost or something. Sitting on 3k goals, of course, we'll back off here. We can go straight for the Volibear. Not building the white stuff because none of the carries have MR yet. He cannot kill us like that. That's fine. Flash us out. Luckily, we do have the Baron buff, so it's a lot faster for us to recall. Let's spam your E, see? 4.7 cooldown. And of course, you can always get more ability haste if needed. Get some fruits. Like, tanky targets will always be difficult to deal with, even if you are fit. Let's just have it is. That's why you don't. Focus them down. When you can one shot the mid laner or the AD carry, why would you ever go for the front line? Slow is a bit annoying. Got what we wanted to. Maybe I can get the blue buff. Does not seem like they took it. It is still up. Remember, the way you engage from the backline is that you find a good flank, then you throw in your ultimate and then you E straight in a lot of the time because otherwise you just get caught by CC. Because when you ult and then you E immediately afterwards, you'll become untargetable, right? So if they have exhaust or something, they cannot target you. And also if they have CC, they cannot target you. That's why throw in the ultimate and then E straight in like this. That's your zero counterplay combo. And as I said guys, this champion is very OP right now, so if you want some free LP, especially in low ELOs, then this is your free ticket. He's also really OP in high elo right now as well. His win rate is actually the highest in uh, higher ranks. The Vilkos will come and defend, maybe not. They recalled, that's fine. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I should be here. Volibear is becoming a bit more tankier, but he has to be alone for that item to work. While he's grouped up, it's fine, otherwise I want to avoid one versus ones. Right now it's fine though because I'm so fed, but normally you want to avoid against tanky champs. Always remember to farm still. Have you got that out? Yeah, I still have the Sonya, so I can just keep going. I'm gonna fix this wave really fast, so it pushes in a bit faster. And the ultimate is almost ready again. We just used it, and it's almost up again. That's why you don't need ultimate Hunter. Ingenious Hunter is really OP because it pushes your item cooldowns lower. Luna's Tempest passive, you know, even the Sonya's passive. Especially the Sonya's passive, actually.
This is why I don't E immediately, you know, when they come out of the Sonyas. Because I wait for their flashes to come out. So unless I'm certain they don't have flash or something, then I'll just keep my uh, E. And just E out. All that HP gone. Really easy combo. You know, also having that rip off for the slow. Oh, I tried to attack the Kaiser. Nice combo. And that's it. So that was how to play Fist. Really hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.